Barbecue gloves are a really useful tool to have around your grill or around your kitchen. But there's a lot of different kinds of barbecue gloves out there. How do you choose what kind of barbecue gloves to get? I'm going to break it down for you. There's basically two main kinds of barbecue gloves. There are the cloth-based ones. These are called extreme temperature barbecue gloves. And then there's the silicone-based ones. These are silicone, 100% silicone gloves. Now, uh, full disclosure, Barbecue Dragon does sell both of these kinds of gloves, and we sell good quality ones. I don't care who you buy it from. What I'm going to tell you today is going to apply equally to both. So they're completely different tools, and let's talk about why. The silicone gloves are waterproof, and that's the main thing you want to keep in mind with these. Here's what's great about these silicone gloves. You can take silicone gloves and, with your hand in it, actually stick your whole hand right inside boiling water to pick out corn, uh, to pull out hot potatoes. You can grab stuff from the grill with them without having the little furs and hairs that are on a cloth barbecue glove stick to your food. So if you're going to be actually lifting up a roast or a turkey with your bare hands, you're going to want to use these silicone barbecue gloves. Now, on the other hand, the extreme heat barbecue gloves are actually specifically not for use with wet because they don't really protect your hands very well when they're wet. However, when they're dry, they actually protect your hands from heat much better than the silicone gloves. I found that when I'm wearing the silicone gloves and I'm touching really hot stuff around the grill or pulling out a really hot pan from the oven, I can feel the heat through the silicone gloves more easily than I can feel the heat from these extreme temperature gloves. Now the extreme temperature gloves are up to 932 degrees Fahrenheit heat resistant. That's massive. I mean, you can practically pick up live coals with this. So you're probably never going to be needing the level of heat uh, resistance that these ones offer you, but it's really great to have it. And on the outside of these gloves, on both sides, this is what you'll find in a good quality uh, extreme heat resistant glove. They've got a silicone grip, and that's super important because otherwise you're going to drop pans and stuff when you're using them. Uh, the other thing you want to look for in an extreme heat glove is a cotton liner. Now, here's the difference. The outside, and the reason that this can resist heat up to 932 degrees, is because they're made of aramid fiber. Aramid fiber is the same space age material that they make Kevlar out of. It's really tough stuff. In fact, you can also try to cut this stuff with a knife. It doesn't even cut with a knife. It's just super, super tough material. Uh, however, it's not that comfortable against your hands, and so that's why we have inside it a cotton liner, which makes it really nice and comfortable. So this is perfect for around the grill when you're concerned about heat, using as a hot pad or hot mitt when you're pulling stuff out of the oven, but don't get them wet. They're not going to work well when they're wet. For wet stuff or easy cleaning, like you get uh, your handling uh, a, a, a uh, ribs that have some sauce on them, this would be the ideal glove for you. So what else do you want to look for in these types of gloves? Well, they definitely want to be long. Both these gloves are 13, 14 inches long, and that actually is great because the part that I always burn around the grill is my forearm, right? Like I'm reaching into the grill, I touch my forearm against the side of the grill or against the grate, and I get burns. So what you want to make sure is you get extra long gloves whether you're going with the silicone gloves or with the uh, aramid fiber extreme heat gloves. Make sure that they're long. And with the silicone gloves, the other thing you want to look for is to make sure they're thick. you got to get a nice thick silicone glove because, as I said earlier, when you're touching really hot pans and plates with this, you're going to feel the heat come through more easily than you're going to feel the heat come through with the extreme heat gloves. So that's the main difference there. Nice and thick. Get a good quality one. Get it nice and long. Okay. And uh, with the aramid fiber, again, it wants to be nice and long. Got a silicone coating on it so you don't drop dishes. And uh, it's got the, the cotton liner. These are not for use with water. These are for use with water and liquids. These resist heat up to about 500 degrees. These resist heat up to 932 degrees. All the barbecue gloves that you find that are good quality are going to be one of these two types. And this is the way to chew them. With wet, high temperature dry, and nice and long and heavy duty. So that's basically the down low on barbecue gloves. It's a really popular item and actually really useful around the grill. 
The fact is, I didn't used to use barbecue gloves around the grill. And once I started doing it, I realized it is a lot easier. Picking up grates, moving charcoal, not getting my hands dirty, being able to work with food with the silicone gloves. I, I really like them, and I keep them around the grill all the time. So uh, if you got any more questions, just message me here on the video or uh, reach out to us at Barbecue Dragon, and happy grilling.